Hello, good morning, all English learner. Yeah, so here I believe the people they are watching me or like me, mindset people. We all are crazy to spread to learn English. So today again, I'm gonna take this series to the next level. So here, what we are trying every day that how every day we have some different situation that lies or that occurs during our everyday routine and that is what we want to reveal that express that can we do that explicitly in english or not that is what we are learning here in again the same uh, <laughs> same story everybody has in their mind that how can i speak fluently or what is the method or methodology that can help us to propel or to make us a rational speaker or a spontaneous speaker but there is nothing, no shortcut, no any holy grail or no magic. It doesn't come miraculously. So it takes a time or obviously if you are one of those they are trying to learn, it will take time. Okay, so let's go. It was around 2 p.m. What before that, not exactly it is in my mind. So uh, yesterday my wife said that there is item, there is no item in, I mean there is no kitchen item. So we need to buy the household thing the kitchen item the grocery thing so it was in my mind and uh, I yeah I asked her to make a list so she said no no she said that uh, she's gonna eat first so after having it was not breakfast so it was time of late breakfast so when it is like breakfast or dinner breakfast or lunch or between if you are doing so that we say brunch so it was a brunch time so she, she said that okay let me finish my brunch then i'll make a list but what happened she uh, turned on the tv and put on some cereal it's normal phenomenal you know a normal trade that people do nowadays and now on the ground she started typing on his phone to my whatsapp and yes i start uh, when she typed it landed to my message box and it prompted i saw that and i noticed okay she has given the all details and then thereafter i read all and i noticed that there are some items missing again as per my mindset because it's not obvious that every time things are apparent in your mind so she knows whatever she had in mind she wrote it but again i had some item in my mind also so what i noticed that there are some item that is missing so it was not a comprehensive item so i noted down something extra but again, there is mystery, I'll tell you, and you will laugh. <laughs> Even I laugh. So, uh, I sent that item to one of the local shop because he used to deliver. If there is some heavy item, so that there was some rice uh, pocket and uh, uh, floor, uh, 10 kg and some other item. So, it is heavy. So, it was not convenient to go there and put on uh, shoulder and bring it. I have bike, but I thought, why shouldn't I order him? Because there is facility he can deliver. So I texted him and he said, okay, it will take a time. Now we are busy. I said, okay, it's okay. And I texted him. And uh, after an hour, I noticed he has not read what I sent. And I called him and he said that some item has come by truck. We are unloading to putting inside the shop. So I said, okay, it's okay, fine. And then after a few minutes, he texted me some item that you need uh, two, 250 grams only. Uh, I said, yeah, yeah, I need it, <laughs> it this, this much only. <coughs> what happened? Okay, I'll, I'll expose this. I will reveal this uh, <laughs> secret later on. So I went to the uh, school to bring my son. And once I came... No, 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 sorry. Uh, so he brought the item also in the uh, shack. He brought and I took it from him and I said, wow, it's cheap because it cost only 1100 something. I put that item in the kitchen and then immediately I go to the school and I brought my son. When I brought my son, so I noticed some grocery item was lying on the floor. So uh, my wife laid it on floor and I saw and I was laughing that in two or three pocket there was 250 grams 250 gram 250 gram pearls like mushroom pearls gram pearls in gram i <laughs> i thought oh my god 250 gram only <laughs> then i i saw my phone i noticed that i mistakenly typed 
250 grams only and that is why he delivered it anyway in the floor uh, ashirwad floor we used so he gave it for 5 kg so again i took all that stuff and went to the shop and asked him that sorry it was my mistake that i typed uh, lesser than what i wanted and finally he was also laughing that yeah i noticed why you order this small item this small item and then thereafter i brought it and this is how you know it was funny incident that was different than other day okay this morning again what happened my eyes open around 3 i thought no it's too early but again i slept i drank water and slept but later on uh, my stomach start rumbling and uh, i thought i need to go to toilet i went to toilet it was too early so i thought should i start reading now or doing exercise but it was too early and so i decided not to do that so again i went to sleep but i put my phone in charger and i slept around not even an hour so it was around four something not three four something so uh, again i woke up around 4:53, and i went i did exercise and again i read the article that landed in my gmail email uh, gmail box so the item was like from new york time the article was the news was about the same that is coming about hezbollah uh yeah the fight between hezbollah and the israel so again yesterday i got to know one good thing that the pager that bought that pager was being manufactured by israel only he was posing that he he has an international pager making company and even the hezbollah was not aware about that it was secret so see hezbollah was using pager instead of phone that last time that phone was being tracked by israel so how intelligent israel is and because of that they were using that pager and in that pager what happened when they imported so in that sale of the pager they tempered somehow explosion and they designed some program so one when once it landed once it was received by hezbollah uh, people and the hezbollah army they started putting in they started distributing so they distributed all those people and uh, when they they had in pocket or in hand one message come one notification came in the in the pager the notification was like the hezbollah want to share some information so it was important so everybody started looking at it and during the time blast happened all these uh, all these pager started or went went off right it means blasted so there are a lot of people they they got injured somebody got died and one of the incident came in light it was unfolded that uh, a guy who was riding the bike there was two people sitting behind one is the children one is guardian and another was riding so the child uh, he was sitting and he saw or he shocked when that blast occurred in his hand and his hand blown up in air see how terrible it was to saying it's easy but uh, when with whom it has happened or occurred it was terrible you know horrible so this happened apart from that i think last day uh, he also did some air strike on the hezbollah attack because some of the hezbollah uh, uh, hezbollah army they had some comment after that blast that he will he will retaliate he will not sit idle so in behalf of that a statement again the israel did some air strike and again i think there are 20 uh, 3700 people uh, injured and sorry 2900 people injured and 20 uh, 37 people died in that case so it was really you know one of the uh, great thing to know how people are tampering and programming and technology and nowadays we all are addicted of technology like many things come from Chin. i'm not saying that Chin is doing these all thing but china they have very sharp mindset when it comes to these kinds of technology they might put something and they are importing every data that we are using in india or some important like there are many politicians many intelligent they use everyday phone or they are having responsibility for many secret things that is in, in terms of uh, you know in benefit of india intelligence so there might be uh, some way 
to tamper or to receive data so this these things happen so from this event we got to know this so these all things when we heard when we listen when it comes to our mind we get to know oh my god see how this technology is good these tools are good but somehow we have to be alert that something may happen anytime and nowadays the war is not getting occurred like somebody is coming physically and you know uh, opening uh, opening fire and killing people it used to be happen earlier but nowadays this technology is raising alarm and doing such things so that people are dying okay so guys for english again i'm very happy that people are watching this video or i'm one of the crazy people disparate people that that has come that has come from the ground or a scratch and today we are here i'm here so it gives me pleasure yesterday while teaching i got to know by one of my <coughs> a student that he has got a call from a uh, good company and he has face interview another guy told me that oh another guy uh, he shared some audio that during the meeting somebody was talking so she want to understand their capacity their way of speaking the voice modulation is that good or not good he was basically he was trying or he want to try to compare his voice and the other way of speaking so that i heard so that was not good compared to the guy who is learning with me because i teach everything i teach the pronunciation i teach the way of speaking a lot of things comes when i teach another guy from brazil yeah he's from brazil he shared that he got an another job so when he started learning with me he was working in local company in brazil only at that time he used to be tired or every time he was having a lot of workload and every time when i used to call it seemed that he is getting older a lot of pressure he has in his mind and he need to finish a lot of task settle with many pending work and after learning with me he got a new job in different country and again yesterday i got to know or day before yesterday he texted me that he got another job so it was a huge increment so guys we must be desperate to learn english it's a well rewarding fact that if you learn english it opens a door for a great opportunity because in this competition in this stiff competition market we must be ahead of some people otherwise what is different that somebody going to hire us not to other everybody ha has a lot of a skill set they are still a performer uh, performer out of studying you know a uh, way of nailing any task but what we should have some advantage that somebody can notice or somebody can hire us okay see the advantage of english is not that only that you have to learn this for uh getting a job or business age see it's been around 6 more than 5 years i'm surviving by english only i have been teaching and i am living in bangalore one of the expensive city yes sometime even my position falters i stumble financial differences comes uh but again uh, still i have been surviving i am able to manage some uh live uh, my survival and everything here my school fee my son's school fee so if you are learning this don't put it in mind that you have to work it may help you to survive also it may help you to get a chance to teach people or to interact globally so why not we should learn this there are many advantage behind this and this is my intention that what pain i endured when i was learning a lot of pain i have gone through even i worked more than a decade in multinational company i understood the corporate culture and i got to know what a problem comes when we have problem when we have pitfall as in weak english communication skill yes so one of the problem that we have is weak english communication skill so when we lag behind in communicating it is considered that we don't have any skill even we are good performer but people consider that we are not educated i don't know why this mindset is now in the people that they treat us in that way so to get rid of this problem to come out of such situation we must put in all our effort to get rid of this problem or to achieve this language so once you achieve it later on you will realize that wow one of the great thing you have achieved in your life so never ever fall behind to get this so what i want because i know the real pain when i was not good in english i want people who approach me that they should not grapple with the same problem at least what time i spent to achieve this level or still i am learning 
it's a continuous process nobody is perfect in anything so whenever somebody approaches me i put in all my effort i try to help them wholeheartedly so that they can manage or they can you know reach fast then what i spend time at least they are not they should not go these all ups and down so they can get proper guideline or the way how to achieve or how to speak well or these all things right so it's good later on uh, if let's see i'll be putting some grammar stuff that is important for a spoken not important for other things so for writing for a speaking for understanding because everything is important you should have great understanding level when somebody is speaking or you are listening to some podcast or some news uh, some you know channel so you should uh, you should understand explicitly what's going to happen what somebody is trying to narrate what some reporter is saying what dialogue somebody spoke so everything should be crystal and clear in our mind so that level we want to achieve so these all three aspects speaking writing and listening these all are the part of this english so somebody if want to learn they can learn it it's super easy never ever let your faith go a stay straight fast you can bolster your you can bolster your conviction so that it is like somewhere impelling you right and propelling you to the next level so great good to know that a lot of people have started following and i'm trying them to put this all a stuff or these kinds of little motivation people are already motivated then only they are learning english so keep learning it's super easy never ever believe that somebody speaks or i cannot if somebody speaks i can it will take time but yes one day we can speak that so thank you and bye bye